a lot more renters come in a recession market. Okay, so this is the time to strike a thousand percent. My name is Matt Pichet, AKA the Fruitful Investor. I grew up in a middle-class family. All I've ever wanted was freedom. By the age of 30, I became a self-made multi-millionaire, all from real estate investing. Follow me on my journey to travel the world when I want, where I want, while continuing to build a killer real estate business. Let's get it. What's up fruitful investors? In this video, I wanna talk about how to ride out a recession when it comes to investing in real estate. Right now, at the time of me filming this video, I think it's like April 8th, we're kind of feeling like there's a recession coming on with the whole coronavirus pandemic. So what better time than now to talk about recession proofing your real estate investing business. However, I kind of take this approach all the time because I'm afraid of recessions. I'm afraid of losing money because I'm a huge baby when it comes to losing money. I hate it. I never do. Not yet. Never will. <laughs> but I do this exact business plan all the time. But right now, more important than ever. So how do we recession proof our business? Number one, First and foremost, we wanna focus on long-term real estate, okay? Reason why, we can ride out recessions. Now, a lot of people freak out when it comes to recession. They think, my tenants aren't gonna pay. You know, they're, they're gonna ruin the house. They're gonna, they're gonna take advantage of me. Guess what happened to me when rent payments came for April 1st? So we had the whole coronavirus kind of craziness in like mid-March here in Canada and in the US for you guys. So. April 1st was a big toss up for a lot of real estate investors. Will my tenants pay? Will they screw me? I have about 32 properties right now. They all paid, every single one. Why? I'm gonna break it down exactly why, but it's a big reason why. I don't wanna give it away too early. But the reason why I wanna focus on long-term real estate is because we don't wanna sell right now, obviously, if we don't really have to, right? We're not at the bottom of the recession. I don't think, truthfully, we're gonna be at like a big major recession, kinda of like 2008. Again, this is April 8th, so if we're in a huge recession by September, I might change my mind then. Right now, I don't see it happening. But even if it does, we don't wanna sell. We wanna ride out that recession and wait till the market comes back up, because it will. It always does, every single time. So don't freak out if you're, in a, you know, if you're feeling the stress right now. It will go back up again. Maybe it'll be 2021, 2022. It will go back up. It always does. That's what real estate markets do. But we don't wanna sell. So we wanna ride it out, and we have the option of at least riding it out. If we're flipping real estate, as you guys know, I'm a big flipper, I have a big flipping active real estate business. We're kinda of pulling the foot off the gas a little bit. Not entirely, because I still wanna do deals. There's always deals to be done. But I'm pulling off a little bit. I'm not as intense as I was two or three months ago when the market was booming and life was all good. But long term real estate, now the flip is switching. We're going all in back again, which kinda of sucks. Cause I was just getting out of the long-term kind of thing. I was saying, okay, I I'm done with this kind of business. I have all my rental properties. I have all my wealth. Let's do the flipping thing full time, full on. Okay, now we gotta kind of go back, which is a real pain in the ass, but it is what it is. Here we can ride out things and we can make mistakes too. So if you're a real estate investor just starting out, you can make mistakes up in this uh, type of real estate because again, if you make a mistake, no big deal. You can just wait a year or two and maybe you spent too much on the renovation. If you wait one or two years, appreciation will naturally kind of catch up and you'll probably be all good again. So that's the benefits of long-term real estate is that we can ride out the bad, bad problems. Now going to the more specific, important things. That's number one. I'm just gonna say that first and foremost. When we're in a recession, okay, switch the gears to focus on long-term real estate. But in that, what can we do to ensure our success even more? We wanna buy quality. Now again, these are things I'm talking about all the time. Even in a boom market, I was talking about this, but now more than ever, we need to buy quality. So what, what do I mean by that? You wanna buy in cities or areas where people want to live. Okay, so we're not buying in but fuck nowhere country towns because there's no work there. There's no work there even probably in a boom market, especially in a recession market. Okay, there's not a lot going on there. We wanna be buying where people actually wanna live, where there is, again, you guys hear me say it all the time, GDP growth. What's GDP growth? It's the gross domestic product. It's basically the import and exports, the services being sold out of an area, into an area, to another area, et cetera. It's the movement of jobs and creation. So GDP growth, you might not need to know what that is. I don't even know what it is, but I do know it leads to 
job growth. When you have GDP growth, it leads to job growth. Why is that important? Well, we need tenants to have jobs to pay our money. When, the, when jobs start being created in the area, what happens automatically, we have population growth. Why? More people want jobs. They see a city that's doing something, they wanna live there too. And what happens when we see population growth is we see rental demand. Okay, so this is the format. This is how we buy on the way up. Okay, so when there's a recession, GDP growth is probably what? It's a little negative, right? It's going down. We don't have a lot of GDP growth, probably right now. Everybody's laid off. Nobody has jobs, nobody's working right now. GDP is taking a massive fucking hit. When people go back to work, what do you think's gonna happen? GDP is gonna start rising up again. We wanna buy, for me, I wanna buy real estate right about here. Okay, so GDP growth starts going up, cool. Then jobs start coming back or being created. I'm gonna wait it out a bit. Some more risky investors might wanna get in right there because they can see the trend going up. I'm more conservative. I wanna chill out a little bit. Let's see where this goes. Then when we see population growth coming in, boom, that's when I, that's when I wanna buy. That's totally up to you. When the population growth happens, rental demand increases. Why? More people wanna to move to an area and typically they don't wanna buy a property in a new city they're just moving to. They wanna feel it out a little bit. They wanna rent in that city, see if they even like living there and then they'll kind of figure it out, okay? So I kind of jumped, this was actually point number three. I wanna spend some time on this. So rental demand. This is very important. And what happens typically in a recession, what do you think happens? Are there less people looking for rentals or are there more? Well, the uneducated people are gonna say there is less. They have no jobs, they're not looking for money, they don't have money. Well, what actually happens historically, the data shown, when there's a recession, there's a massive increase in rental demand. A lot of people wanna sell their homes, cash out, and maybe they're having hard times, but they wanna keep their 100 grand, 200 grand they made on their house. They're gonna go rent a property and live a little more conservatively. A lot more renters come in a recession market. Okay, so this is the time to strike a thousand percent. You're gonna see a lot of craziness, me too. Some days I'm like, dude, this is fucking over. I'm, I'm done, the business is gonna go down. Okay, it won't. But reality is you actually wanna strike now. Okay, why? Everybody's running the other way. Fuck real estate, no investing. I'm not putting my money in anything. I'm gonna sit on my cash. What are the smart people doing? I'm gonna buy everything up. Cause I know the real estate market and the economic cycle will go back up again. It always does every single time. But you're gonna hear a lot of people, you're gonna hear CNN, Fox News, all the mainstream media. This is different, this time it's different. Yeah, it's a little different. But economically, it's the exact fucking same every single time it will go back up, okay? Number four, how do we re recession proof our business even more? I was going on a bit of like a conspiracy rant. I gotta slow it down there, <laughs> all right? Quality renovations, okay? So this is, again, I do this all the time. You guys see the videos, but even now more than ever, quality renovations on your properties are even more important. Why? We wanna attract the good quality tenant who's gonna what? Pay their rent. You see how on April 1st when I got on my rent. We'll see what happens May 1st, by the way. I'll let you know what happens then, because that's the real test. But April 1st, everybody's freaking out. I'm not gonna get my rent. I got rent on every single property. Why? They're very, very high quality renovations, which means I attracted a very high quality professional tenant who probably saves money or has a good job like that they can work from home, whatever. They have their finances right, and they pay the rent. Now, also the rent level is a little high, right? All my rents are typically about 1800 and up. Now, in my area, that's that's pretty high, that's like top rent, market rent, top rent, boom, market rent. Now, if I'm renting out apartment buildings, another reason why I don't personally like apartment buildings is because I'm all about what? Quality, you guys know that. For me, personally. All the rents that are like 800, 750, $900 a month, okay, those are the tenants that are probably most likely not to pay and be the ones on the Facebook groups and all the, all the other things going, fuck landlords, I'm not paying my rent, no way, rent strike, nah, nah, nah. None of my tenants did that, okay, why? They're professional, <laughs> they understand life, they have a good job, good career. Okay, it's the other lower tenants that are likely to more do that, not all the time, but more likely. When my tenants are paying 1,800 bucks, 1,900 bucks a month, okay, they're not playing around. They're not gonna be the ones doing the conspiracy bullshit against landlords and corporations and shit. They're, they're too busy raising their family and working, okay? So that's why we wanna do quality renovations, why it attracts quality tenants. So wrap it all up. We wanna focus on long-term real estate. We wanna buy in quality areas where cities are growing and are kind of recession-proof. I talk about this all the time as well. When we invest in areas that have high GDP growth, job growth, population growth all the time, 
in no matter what the real estate cycle or economic cycle is, okay, that's where you want to buy. For me, it's a Kitchener Waterloo, it's a Hamilton, it's a Toronto, these are Canadian cities. For you in America, it might be, I don't know, an Atlanta, uh, Miami, Florida, I don't know, Orange County, I, I'm not an expert in the US, but you get what I'm saying. Major cities that will always have jobs, always have population growth, always have rental demand. You want to be investing in those areas. All the little dinky towns that, you know, a year ago, we're kicking ass, we're getting high cash flow because it was a boom market and then everybody looked like a genius. Okay, going into 2020, late 2020, 2021, those little dinky, rinky dink towns, probably not gonna do so well. The major cities, gonna do just fine, they always do. And then last but not least, quality renovations. Why? We wanna attract that quality tenant so they pay our rent. That's the video, guys. If you like this video, if you learned anything, smash that like button, also smash that subscribe button right here so we can see more of each other. I post two videos a week. I wanna see more of you as well. I'll see you in the next video.